All right, so section one was about graphing. Section two was about substitution. Section three was about elimination. All of these methods did the same thing. They found the solution to the system of equations. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this. Okay. We're gonna choose the best method and we're gonna solve a real world problem. There are three methods, as I just said, graphing, substitution, elimination. You may want to pause this and jot down your own ideas, but here's when to use them. Uh, if we're not looking for a 100% answer, graphing's fine. Okay, if we wanna visually see it, or if we don't wanna exactly know, we would use graphing. When one of the equations already is y equals or x equals, substitution is perfectly fine. Or if we want to solve for one of the variables and not both, that's when substitution would make sense. Okay? When elimination, when the coefficients of one variable are the same or opposites, or when graphing and substitution wouldn't be good. Right? So it's a good idea to have these down in your own words so that you can use them as you get through working through these questions. Okay? Let's look at some problems. A fashion designer makes and sells hats. The material for each hat costs $5.50. The hat sells for $12.50 each. The designer spends $1,400 on advertising. How many hats must the designer sell to be able to break even? Okay, so what we're doing is we're trying to find out when they make enough money to pay off how much they spent. Okay? So we need two variables. We need the letter Y and we need the letter X. We're going to call X the number of hats. Okay, and the Y is the expenses. So y is equal to how much the designer spends per hat plus how much they spent on advertising. So y is equal to $5.50 times the number of hats because that's how much she pays or whoever pays to be able to buy, to make the hats. And then this is how much they spent on advertising. In terms of how much they make, they make $12.50 per hat. So we're looking for when are these two things equal. Okay. Remember, we have three ways, graphing, substitution, and elimination. This one kind of makes sense to use substitution. So I'm going to take 12.5x and I'm going to replace it with y. So I subtract and I get 7x equals 1400. So x equals 200. So she or the designer needs to sell 200 hats to be able to break even. Okay, if you need to, go back and look at the two equations, see how I got them. Okay, I'm going to move on. Okay. The local zoo is filling two water tanks for the elephant exhibit. One water tank contains 50 gallons of water and is filled at a constant rate of 10 gallons per hour. The second water tank contains 29 gallons of water and is filled at a constant rate of 3 gallons per hour. When will the two tanks have the same amount of water? Okay. When will the two tanks have the same amount of water. That's what we're being asked to solve. Okay. So y represents the total water and x represents the amount of time that we're running the tank or the, the water. Okay. So for the first tank it's 10 times the amount of time plus the 50 gallons that was already in there. 
the second water tank is three times X plus the original 29 gallons that were in there. Okay. So we have our two equations. Uh, we are going to substitute as well. So I'm going to do 3x plus 29 equals 10x plus 50. Okay, so I took this and plugged it in for y. So I get 7x equals negative 21. So x equals negative 3. Okay, now that doesn't make sense. That means it has to be negative three hours. Okay, so we got a problem because that ain't possible. You can't get that. Um, so therefore, what we have as an answer is that you can't do it. There's no solution to this question because it's not possible to run the amount of water for negative hours. Okay, so there is no answer to this question at all. Okay. okay. Travel problems. Okay. Notice that we've got a headwind going this way. So this plane is going into the wind and this plane is going against it. So, what we see here is that this plane is traveling at 550 miles per hour and its airspeed is some value, but the, it's being helped by the wind. So we're going to have A plus W equal to 550. But this plane is being hurt by the wind. Its ground speed is 495, so we take its airspeed minus the headwind and we get 495. So those are the two equations. This one representing the trip from LA to Charlotte, this one representing Charlotte to LA. I want you to find it. Okay, so it's looking for what is the airspeed and what is the wind speed. So we're looking for both. Okay, so I'm going to ask, which format, which which uh, process or method would you use? Would you use graphing? Would you use substitution? Or would you use elimination? That's a great question, Mr. Allen. Okay. Here is your check. Probably one you haven't seen before. This one with the mellow metal alloy. You have an example using milk in your book, so I trust that you will look at that and check it out. Okay? Alright, that's section number four. See ya.